Hi, uh, my name is uh, Jitten from uh, Netview CCTV. Uh, that's uh, netviewcctv.co.uk. Uh, in this uh, demonstration, I'm just gonna show you how to enable uh, the audio on a Hike Vision uh, IP camera uh, with a mic uh, microphone connected to it. Uh, in this case, I have uh, uh, one of our microphones that's available on our website. Uh, let me just uh, show you on our website. So, just going to type in www.netviewcctv.co.uk. So, we have some uh, microphones there. So, uh, we're going to click on accessories, audio, and we have one specific, there's quite a few microphones there, uh, different qualities, etc., uh, for different purposes. And we have one there for uh, for IP cameras. Uh, and the beauty of this mic is that there's no power required. You just connect uh, uh, the cables up and away you go. Um, so if you go down to the description, it does tell you how to actually connect uh, the microphone up. Um, basically, what you're going to do is connect that balloon onto the end of the mic. Two little strips of uh, copper, ca copper cable from uh, the balloon uh, into uh, the uh, IP camera, uh, positive and negative, uh, on the uh, on the IP camera audio inputs. And there you go, match up the following channels, audio in on the camera and the plus on the balloon. And then the G uh, next to the audio in on the camera to the minus on the balloon. So the G is the minus, audio in is a plus. I'm connecting both up. Um, I just uh, use a bit of a Cat5 uh, cable, a um, couple of the cores. Uh, from there, strip it off, and then just uh, use them to connect up. Uh, so that's the microphone. Uh, I've already got uh, this microphone connected uh, to an IP camera. So to show you how to enable uh, the menu inside for the audio to uh, work connecting uh, correctly. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do, I've uh, uh, deactivated uh, the IP camera. So going to start SA, SADP, Hike Vision SADP tool, downloadable from their website or our website. Um, and you see there's uh, a camera there. Now, just bear in mind that only cameras with S at the end have audio input. So you have to have a microphone, uh, an IP camera with a dash I S. S is the important bit. S stands for sound. Um, but also there are a couple of uh, IP cameras with S, but it's got the microphones built in, so it won't work on them. It's the ones without the built-in microphones, any IP camera with S uh, in the product code. So we've got that one, so we highlight that one. So I'm just going to activate it. So to activate that camera, um, we're going to put, uh, uh, you have to put a password in. So I'm just going to put one in. Tab and activate. There you go, and that's changed to active now. So now I'm just going to enable it for my network um, on a different range. At the moment, the IP address is set to 1.64, and if you see, all my other cameras are on the uh, .not, uh, 192, .not network. So what I'm going to do is enable DHCP, put the admin password, and click on modify. So once I click on modify, um, the, uh, the IP address changes and uh, I have to refresh this page. Uh, the cam act camera will actually restart and they give me a timeout. Um, so that's uh, timed out. So uh, let's see if it's uh, given an IP. There you go. Yeah, it's there. So it's now restarted and it's got an IP address uh, that's within my network range, 192.168.0.36. So just going to minimize uh, SADP and uh, go to uh, Uh, a browser, actually uh, I'm going to use this one for this, so 192.168.0.36 and that should bring up the menu, the app, so we've got the menu for the IP camera, password is, username is admin, password whatever you set when you activated the camera, 
and logging. Right, uh, so that's uh, that's just a proof, but uh, that's my IP camera, which is right next to me, and I'm going to move it around. There you go. So that's my IP camera. Um, and currently, just to show you how I've got uh, uh, the the microphone connected. So there's the audio input. Uh, it's uh, a bit too close at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. So you've got the audio on this uh, particular camera. Also have alarm input, so don't get confused. So that's the alarm inputs and that's the audio inputs and outputs. So you're going to use the audio inputs and outputs. And I've just used a bit of copper Cat5 uh, cable there. Uh, the solid one I've connected to the to the audio in. Uh, the white one I've connected to the, the G uh, on the connector, which is ground uh, to the minus. And I've done exactly the same uh, on the other end uh, where the mic's connected to. So solid to in to the plus and G to the minus uh, on the ballot and you see at the under there I've got the actual mic connector and that's that's all you need to do and that's all I've got Oops, let me just turn that around there you go that's all we need no power it's a passive microphone that's that's the only connection we need uh, to the camera so let's just uh, go back to the menu so to actually enable uh, the audio in the menu, click on configuration and click on video and audio. There you go. Uh, so click on video and audio and we see that at the moment uh, the video type is set to video stream. So what we need to do is to change that to video and audio. So hit the arrow key, drop down box and change it to video and audio and click on save. Now I'm going to also do this for, at the moment it's set to the mainstream, so I'm also going to do the same thing for the substream. Uh, that's for your remote uh, access through mobile phones or remotely uh, using IVMS software. So substream as well, you see it's set to video stream, so I'm going to change that to video and audio as well and click save. So let's go to live view now and let's see to check the audio. Uh, what we do we, on the bottom right hand side, we've got this, uh, at the moment it's muted, a little microphone icon, uh, highlight that and untick the little uh, uh, microphone there. Uh, I've enabled the audio, uh, but you see there's at the moment, you see my microphone set to my it's high. And if I click on that, oops, let me just do that. I'm getting no sound whatsoever. So go back to configuration. And now we're going to click on audio under the video on the left hand side video audio instead of before we were at video now we're clicking on audio and at the moment we're set to a line in so I'm going to just change that to microphone in uh, change that to microphone in I'm going to increase input volume because it's a passive mic no power to it so it, it, uh, it's quite uh, sensitive so uh, increase on I want to uh, a filter on the environmental noise so it's uh, only uh, it, it clears the audio a little bit uh, and filters out any any background noise there uh, once I've changed that click on save and let's see let's go back to live view uh, same thing again uh, click on uh, the little microphone icon. Ah, now you see. So that's the echo coming back from the microphone just to show that the microphone just untick that. So that just shows uh, that the uh, microphone is now enabled and working fine. Um, and that's really all you need to do um, to connect uh, uh, the microphone uh, to an IP camera and enable it in the menu. I hope you found that useful. Uh, remember, go to our website. There's a, there's a range of microphones there. Uh, go to um, Accessories, audio, audio section, and the, this is the microphone I've got connected to the IP camera at the moment. Uh, so we click on that, gives you all the relevant information about the camera itself and everything you get. 
you get the mic, you get the ballon, uh, you also get a bit of a 10 centimeters of a Cat5 cable just to connect uh, that up to the mic. Uh, a few instructions there. Uh, click on the in depth tab as well. Just a uh, brief uh, snapshot of what I've just shown you, really. Um, and that's the passive mic. So we've also got some other mics there. Let's have a quick look at the other mics we've got uh, on our website. Um, that's a high high end, quite a professional microphone, uh, uh, acoustic mic, high fidelity acoustic mic. So there's that one there. And there's quite a few mics actually on the website. Um, all can be used on uh, DVRs, NVRs, or IP cameras. Um, and there's covert ones, there's adjustable gain ones, there's a miniature, and that's a miniature one just there. That's a miniature one with an adjustable gain button uh, just there. And, and so remember that uh, netviewcctv.co.uk. Uh, hope you uh, enjoyed uh, and find that useful. Thanks for watching.